It's your girl, The Real Teddy Talks, and we're going to have an entrepreneurial word today about, let's talk entrepreneurship, let's talk capitalism, and let's talk addiction, all right? So for those of you that are thinking of a way into an industry that is recession-proof, COVID-proof, economic downturn-proof, depression-proof, Um, You would need to pander to something that will outlast all those things. And one thing, this is just one of many, but one thing I know that outlasts and can withstand all of those is addiction. So let's talk some popular addictions. We have drug addiction, legal and illegal. You have alcohol addiction, it's all legal. And you have sugar, (laughs) sugar, a very legal addiction. And the reason sugar is better than the first two is because it's not regulated, all right? Sugar can be as addictive as cocaine, but it's not regulated like alcohol and drugs, illegal and illegal are, right? So pandering to people's sugar addiction is just one of a bazillion ways to make sure you're gonna have income coming in all the time. And the case study we're gonna use today is a place called the Dessert Gallery. I'm in Houston, Texas. Um, I have a thing for cake, all right, I I love cake. Um, I normally like to just make my own cakes because I make a better cake than a cake I can buy, but we're in transition, so I just buy a cake. Um, And this is not a paid advertisement. I don't know the people that work there, I just know I eat their cake sometimes. So I go in, and it's a nice cake. I mean, it's a beautiful cake, beautiful presentation, usually like three layers. Um, so I go in and I buy a piece of cake, which is right almost at $9 a slice. So your average sized cake, you can have uh, eight slices of cake. So at $9 a slice, eight slices of cake, we're talking $72 they're making off of each cake. Now you can buy the whole cake if you want it like that, right? And I think it's a little cheaper. It's between like $50 and $60 if you buy the whole cake. So it's a little cheaper than the $72. Um, But I'm a baker. I bake. I cook. I consider myself a chef. Um, (laughs) This is a uh, self-determined title. But I do consider myself a chef. I definitely bake. And I make a hell of a carrot cake. I make a four-layer cream cheese icing, all fresh ingredient carrot cake. And it takes me a little while to do it because I shred the carrots, I cut up the pineapple, I'm a pineapple girl, I put raisins in it, I pound out my nuts, the nuts, the walnuts I put in there, or pecans, whatever you know I'm feeling that day. So I do all this, and when I buy all the ingredients, including the fresh ingredients, I personally am probably out of counting flour, sugar, all of that, about $10 not counting my time, right? So about $10 it costs me to make a four layer ginormous cake um, with the cream cheese icing, butter, all of that together. If I'm just talking about, you know, the spices I'm using, I'm using like a teaspoon of this spice, a teaspoon of that spice. So not the whole jars, but that's what it costs for just the ingredients in the cake. Now, these bakeries, they get a discount because they're buying wholesale. They're buying their flour wholesale. They're buying, buying their sugar wholesale. Everything, all their ingredients are wholesale. So I would venture to guess. This is just a wag, a wild-ass guess. So a wag, I would say, for each cake that they make, it may cost them $3 tops. Okay, $3. Now, if they're putting some kind of ingredient on top of it, like fresh strawberries, um, some kind of high quality chocolate ganache or something like that, maybe $3.25 per cake. I mean, honestly, I doubt it's much more than that. So it's costing them $3. They're making $72 on average. You tell me what that profit is. That's a $69 profit. Now you have to factor in um, operating costs. You have to factor in your uh, employee wages, all of that. But they make like 20 different cakes, and they also sell cupcakes and cookies. And this place, it opens. It opens midday, and they're open till late into the evening. I think from 9 p.m. to 12 p.m. on the weekends, they're open. Slinging cakes. Okay, I was going to say slanging. Slanging cake and pie. (laughs) No pie. Cake, cupcakes, cookies, petty fours, all day long, right? Great customer service, great setup, beautiful shop, all of that. 
So they're doing it. They're doing it big, making mad profit. And they're open, you know, doing it. I don't know who's in the back baking the cakes. All I'm saying is people who are addicted to sugar, people who like cake, like me and my husband, people who I'm not addicted to sugar, though, people who like cake, people who like sweets, people who have birthdays or birthdays every day. There's graduations, there's parties, there's things people want to celebrate. Um, you got a new job. Um, you want to wallow in your sorrow. You lost your job. Uh, you're getting a divorce. You're getting married. I mean, whatever it is, there's a way that you can celebrate that event with sugar. And because sugar is so addictive, you can outlast the market. You can outlast the economy. You can beat out anything because people are going to go shopping. They're going to buy their cake and they're going to eat it too. So if you want an idea for something that's going to prevent a lot of the issues that many people have had during this pandemic, um, with people not going out and people not being able to go eat in restaurants and all that, people will put on their mask and they will go into a bakery and they will buy cake. They can get it delivered. They will order it. And you just have to be the business owner that can make your customers feel safe and you can support their addiction. So as you are thinking of businesses to get into or how to improve your own business, you have to pander to the things that will withstand downturns. And my idea for the day is cake. Cake really does make everything better. And if you do it right, I think you have a business that will outlast most. Good luck with your business ventures. Um, eat cake <laughs> and enjoy. This is the Real Tidy Talks signing off. Listen. Oh,